Hi, this is Gordy from the Go Now Band, and today we are bringing you an extended video about our entire Go Now team and the music we play. We are, of course, a tribute to the music of the Moody Blues. In my humble opinion, the greatest classic rock band of a generation. We've been asked by a promoter to put together an extended video to give you a flavour of what Go Now is all about and to introduce you to the guys in the band individually. So when lockdown is over and we go back out on tour, you'll have an idea of what we do. So I'm putting this video together from my home in London and I hope you enjoy what's to come. Right, a brief description of the Moody Blues would go something like this. They've sold over 70 million albums, have countless gold and platinum discs, career lasting over five decades, culminating with their induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Added to which, for 25 of those years, I had the immense privilege of playing drums and touring all over the world with them. Now, back in 1965, the Moody's had their very first number one hit called Go Now, from whence we get our name, which was sung by Denny Lane, of course, and Denny left shortly after that to join a band with Paul, or to start a band with Paul McCartney called Wings, I think a little band. This is where Justin Hayward and John Lodge joined the Moody Blues and the journey really began. Because in 1967, Decca Records asked them to record an album to show off their Duramic Stereo sound system. The brief was to make a pop version of Dvorak's New World Symphony aimed at the more sophisticated listener. What Decca got instead was a lushly orchestrated album of the Moody's own material called Days of Future Past. This was quickly followed by a string of massively successful albums in search of the lost chord, on the threshold of a dream, to our children's children's children, a question of balance, every good boy deserves favour, on and on and on and on, creating a simply staggering volume of work. For me, part of the genius of their songwriting was that they not only sang about love, but also the riddles of the universe and man's place in the bigger scheme of things, if you will. In the process and in the ensuing decades, they sort of snuck up on the inside lane and claimed their rightful place in the history of popular music. It's that achievement that Go Now are paying tribute to. So let's kick off with some music from the album Every Good Boy Deserves Favour. This is a song we normally finish the first half of our show with. It's a live recording taken from our US tour last year in 2019, and I particularly love Nick Kendall's guitar solo at the end and his use of harmonics. Check it out. It's called The Story in Your Eyes. Shine 
We'll see you in the short while. That was Patrick Duffin on bass, a guest American keyboard player called Eric Lilly, Nick Kendall on guitar, and Mick Wilson singing lead. Now, we're going to learn more about the Go Now team as we move through this video, and we're going to start off with Nick Kendall, who you've just seen playing guitar on that last song. Nick, the youngest member of the team by far, is a native South African, but he now lives over here in the UK. He's played in We Will Rock You in South Africa, studied at Berklee College in America, and has very quickly become one of the UK's leading session musicians. Since moving here, amongst many other things, he's played in We Will Rock You in the West End, in Jersey Boys, and also Sarah Bareilles' musical Waitress in the West End. He also has his own fantastic band called The Kendall Connection. And as you're about to find out, he's one hell of a guitarist. Here is Nick performing a solo acoustic arrangement of a Moody Blues song from the album In Search of the Lost Chord, and it's called Thinking is the Best Way to Travel. As you're about to find out, there are quite a few people in the Go Now team. And the reason for that is that we wanted the very best musicians. And of course, really great players aren't always available all the time. So we brought in some additional musicians to play with us, rather like an orchestra might have extra players. So in this next song, we have Ryan Farmery on keys, Tim Maple on guitar, Mick Wilson and myself, and Malcolm Moore playing bass and singing the Moody Blues' very first number one hit, Go Now. We've already said goodbye. But since you gotta go, are oh, you would better go now? Go now, go now. For you see me cry. Malcolm singing Go Now. Malcolm is an amazing musician and as well as working with James Blunt and Robbie Williams, he plays bass in Mamma Mia in the West End. He also has his own amazing band called the 1957 Tailfin Fiasco. I'll say that one more time. The 1957 Tailfin Fiasco. I know, but trust me, it's brilliant. Check it out. Now, during the lockdown, I asked everybody in the band to sing a Moody Blues song from their home studios or living room. And Malcolm sent me a fabulous arrangement of a song from the Moody Blues album Long Distance Voyager, but on keyboards. Here is Malcolm performing Gemini Dream. <laughs> Stay. 
state of mind, what can go wrong? We're here, the time is right to rock and roll right through the night. You gotta make it work. You gotta make it work out for each other tonight. Long time, no see. A short time for you and me. Now we're going to move on to the man we call our secret weapon, Patrick Duffin. Malcolm brought Patrick in as a dep, or as a sub as you say in America, to play bass when Malcolm wasn't available. However, as soon as he did one gig, we asked him to join the band permanently. He normally plays keyboards with us now, but he often plays guitar too, hence his nickname, Secret Weapon. As well as playing in Hairspray and Jersey Boys in the West End, Patrick has written a lot of music for TV, including the theme tune for Loose Women, don't you know? Here he's on bass, playing a show in America last year. He's singing a duet with Mick Wilson, and the song is from the Moody Blues album Seventh Sojourn. It's one of my favourites, and rather poignant for the times that we live in. It's called Isn't Life Strange? <laughs> Isn't life strange A turn of the page Can read like before Can we ask for more Each breath that we breathe Patrick to sing a song whilst in lockdown. He chose a track from the album The Magnificent Moody's, the very first Moody Blues album when Denny Lane was the singer. We don't currently play this in our set, although now Patrick has learned it, we may have to. Here's Patrick singing I've Got a Dream.
The next song is not actually a Moody Blues song, but we don't care, we like it anyway. It's from Jeff Wayne's musical adaptation of H.G. Wells' The War of the Worlds. And the piece we're going to play for you is the opening track called The Eve of the War. However, there is a link to the Moody Blues in that Justin Hayward sang on the original album. It was hugely successful here in the UK and around the world. And of course, Justin sang the hit single off that record, Forever Autumn. The other link is that I played drums on the live shows and the World Arena Tours for a number of years. One of the most enjoyable gigs I've ever played in my life. Because of that, we include it in our Go Now show. Here is The Eve of the War. One of the great things about the music of the Moody Blues is that they incorporated a vast breadth of styles. Brilliant writers of classic rock and pop songs, they were also capable of producing some of the most delicate and intricate music of the time. And here we bring it right down and perform an acoustic version of a song written by Justin Hayward from the album On the Threshold of a Dream. In this live recording, we have Nick, Patrick, Mick and myself, and with us we have the wonderful Keith Atak, who is one of our favorite guest musicians. He often plays keyboards with us, but on this he's playing guitar. This is called Never Comes the Day.
The next song we have for you isn't a song about love or cars or girls. It's more a nod in the direction of enlightenment. Written by Ray Thomas and from the album In Search of the Lost Chord, it's about the clinical psychologist from Harvard called Timothy Leary, who advocated the use of LSD back in the 60s. He came up with that famous phrase, tune in, turn on, drop out. Now, I don't know if this song was written about LSD or whilst on LSD, but it certainly falls into the category of psychedelic rock. It's probably one of the most adventurous songs the band ever recorded. It's a full seven minutes long, so get yourself comfortable. In this lineup, we have Ryan Farmery on keyboards, Mick Wilson, myself, Tim Maple on guitar, and it features a fantastic flautist called Beth Tempest. Malcolm is going to sing Legend of a Mind. <laughs> Timothy Leary is dead No, 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 he's outside Looking in Timothy Leary is dead No, 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 he's outside Looking in He'll fly his astral plane Take your trip The guitarist in that video was Tim Maple. Now, Tim has been with us from the very beginning and his credits read like the who's who of the music industry. He's played with literally everybody. He's played with Westlife, Boyzone, Simply Red, Emily Sonde, Dr. Hook, Beverly Knight, Seal, the list goes on and on. He's also played in lots of West End shows. I know he's done Rent, he's done Hamilton, Whistle Down the Wind, Dr. Doolittle on keyboards, and he's the musical director for the X Factor live tours. He also played guitar in John Lodger's 10,000 Light Years Band when he and I toured with John on his solo tour a few years ago. Also, he's just as good a keyboard player as he is a guitarist. And recently he hired me along with Nick and Malcolm to play with the Birmingham Symphony Orchestra, the Halley Orchestra, and the Orchestra of Opera North for a series of David Bowie tributes that we played last year. Now I've known Tim for years and years and we are extremely lucky to have him in the band. 
This next video is a beautiful instrumental acoustic arrangement that Tim created himself of a song from the Moody Blues album Octave, released in 1978. It is simply beautiful. It's called Driftwood. Throughout all of this video, you will, of course, not have been able to miss the voice of Mick Wilson. Mick is not only our lead singer, but he's my partner in the band. And when I introduce him on stage, I often say, if you don't know who he is, you've paid too much for your ticket. We've known each other for over 30 years, and the reason this band was put together at all was when Mick was singing with 10cc and I was playing with the Moody Blues, we did a double headlining show at the Coca-Cola Dome in Johannesburg. We found ourselves sitting at breakfast the following morning outside in the sunshine at a, a beautiful hotel talking about how this was the last gig of the tour for both of us. Neither of us were doing anything much until the next tour. That's when we decided to put this band together. It was that breakfast meeting that heralded the start of everything you see in this extended video. In my opinion, he's not only one of the best singers I've ever worked with, he's one of the best singers I've ever heard. And when you sing like that, of course, everybody wants to work with you. And as a consequence, he's sung with the Osmonds, he's sung with the Bee Gees, Jeff Lynne took him out on tour with the Electric Light Orchestra, and for many years he sang in Sir Cliff Richard's band. But he's most notably known for being the lead singer of 10CC for nearly 20 years. Now I asked Mick to do a lockdown video, so, he took his ukulele, he sat on the couch in his living room, and he sang probably the Moody Blues' most famous song of all. It's from that seminal album, Days of Future Past. Let's see if you recognise it. Hi everyone. Um, Go Now was supposed to be playing America uh, this March. Unfortunately, that's not going to be happening. Uh, so in the absence of that, for everybody that bought a ticket, uh, or for anybody else that's uh, self-isolating, at the moment. Uh, here's three or four minutes you can uh, while away. Nights in wet satin Never reaching the end Letters I've written Never meaning to send Beauty I'd always missed with these eyes before And just what the truth is I can't say anymore Cause I love you Just 
they can't understand Some try to tell me Thoughts they cannot defend And just what you want to be You will be in the end Cause I love you We have one final song for you, but before that, I really hope you've enjoyed this extended introduction to the Go Now Band. We know we're standing on the shoulders of giants playing this music. As a session musician who's been fortunate enough to play in lots of different bands, covering multiple genres of music, it is a true pleasure to pay tribute to a catalogue such as this. If you'd like to see us play live, just go to our website, gonowmusic.com, and all of our dates are listed there. And of course, thank you to everybody who's been to see our shows so far. Without you, there really is no point. We really do hope to see you again in the future. Stay safe, everybody. Goodbye. If you give us two or three minutes, we'll get out there. So if you want to just come and say hi, please do. Um, or if you want us to talk into your ear with our British accents. We can just do that if you like. <laughs> but for now, we'll see you again soon. You take care. Come on, Nick. It's not the way that you say it when you do those things to me It's more the way that you mean it when you tell me what will be I'm looking for someone to change my life
you do those things to me It's more the way you really mean it When you tell me what will be